considered a good performance the way the, the states have been uh, just running over everyone. So Kieran Hearn is going to get us started here. And I love watching Kieran Hearn's restarts. Uh, they just hit the clouds and drop like rain onto the receiver. And, uh, you know, Canada's restarts have been very successful this season. Referee Rasha Rasha Vengai, one of the two IRB refs brought in for this tournament. All these uh, qualification tournaments have at least two major international refs to make sure that the final games are uh, refereed at the highest level possible. Mexico. Takes that, but uh, a little bit unsure about. Oh, getting a little feisty what over there. Happen. Yes, well he, well, he didn't let go of the ball when he stepped into touch, but he ran into touch because he wasn't really sure what he wanted to do with that wall of red he saw in front of him. Looks like the Mounties coming to get him. <laughs> Do always get their man, but uh, out to Jones. And that would be Hearn. Trainer. Trainer goes right into contact, pops it out, no, into the ruck. Mack. Hearn again. Out to the wing, but pushed into touch, so Zaruba was just trying to finish it over on that side and ran out of space. And uh, good defensive nous by Mexico to just use that sideline to their advantage. Got to got to stay in in field. That's a turnover for. Canada, but uh, this. Line out is going to be a tough one, and it, it goes down to a Canadian hand and back in out to the outside and over for a try. Moonlight getting and it. Captain John Moonlight just saw that the play was coming back to his side, just waited. Nice power step and over in the corner. 5 0 for Canada. I think, uh, you know, that was quite an offensive display in the last game by the USA. Uh, I. I don't think we can expect that in this game. Mexico is a bit more of an opponent for Canada, but Canada also, uh, you, you know, you don't want to go 100 miles an hour in this heat. Get the win, but think about re preserving yourself for that next game. And well, they know who they're playing in the next game. Yeah, so uh, they had the extra game in the pool round, and so they're thinking about that a little bit and saying, all right, Let's use our, our bench judiciously, and let's uh, play some smart rugby. Let's not make it harder than it has to be. Harry Jones takes his full allotment of time to line up this kick, which is not over. It'll be 5-0 Canada. Uh, we had some age grade games during our break we had a girls game and a boys uh seventh eighth grade game during during that during the girls game the the canadian players were watching and cheering on both teams and uh shouting out some advice too uh it was kind of fun to see they seem pretty yeah. loose good pressure from canada counter rucking looking to try and win that again uh sh looks like uh connor trainer trying to get that ball, but Mexico retains. A long way to go. It's been such a long field for so many of these teams. And a kick. Hearn is back there at the sweeper position. It's a good kick, though. Found some green. Not much of a chase. Hearn looking for some support now. Mack. Zaruba with him. Mack fends off one. Taken by another. He stays on his feet. Keeps going. And Phil wow. Mack. That's some quality. I thought he was tackled there. They're about the five meter line. And so did Mack. But he had different plans. Spun out of that second. tackle and finished it with the try he's small but he's very strong very scrappy and uh slippery too as he goes in for the second try for canada and that'll make it 
with three minutes to go here in the first half of this second men's cup quarterfinal, excuse me, semifinal. Uh, you, you say slippery, and literally that's the case because the sweat on everyone, you know, it, it does make for some missed tackles in, on a hot day like today. Between the sunscreen they're wearing and uh, the sweat, they're getting pretty greasy on the arms and legs. And the kick is good from Jones, so that makes it 12-0. Canada leads. Nice bend off and then spin around, did a couple of turns on the dance floor and then finished it with the big try. Hearn kicks it, another high one, the chase, so good. Jones, who just kicked that conversion, comes in, makes the chase, makes the tackle. Mexico retains, they've done well to retain their own ball. in contact like that. It's the offloads, but there's a little bit of uh, daylight and a kick in center. This is a nice play. This is a nice option. Hearn slides down. He gets to his feet, though, and wisely, they let him get it to his feet. Yeah, those heads up played by Mexico to not get oh. the penalty. But. And then Sean Duke just waits for a second to see if he sees the tiniest of gaps, and he has the confidence to take it right through and what seemed like a promising attack from Mexico turns into a try for try Canada. Canada They'll look to uh, be disappointed there, Mexico, because they showed some enterprise, chipping that ball on, not giving away the penalty, letting Hearn get to his feet, all good stuff, but then one little gap and it's all over. Duke is up there making himself felt. Under the posts. I think that might have been Morris on the chase for Mexico. Just needed a couple of extra yards to get past Hearn and perhaps tow that ball ahead. Jones kicks the conversion. That makes it 19 0 for Canada here at Wake Med Soccer Park in the main stadium in Cary, North Carolina. This is the NACRA Sevens Championships, North American Caribbean Rugby Association. And the winner of this tournament books a place in the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Huge carrot for these players who really don't need much more motivation to play for their country. Hearn now has it. This is a pop back to him. Duke, Mack, Zaruba. He's taken down, pops back inside to Mack, who's taken down by Cervantes. Duke passes it out. There's Hearn again, trainer. Jones. And he's got support on the outside. Moonlight for his and second. And there's Moonlight again. Hey, Captain seems to be happy to wait on the wing. He's gotten a couple of tries that way, and that'll make it 24-0 for Canada. Memories of Rod Snow, the prop that okay. used to catch a tan on the wing all the time and get some great mismatches that uh, I'd say. A, uh, Moonlight is uh, maybe a bit taller and a bit faster than old Rod. Rod Snow, the rock from the rock. <laughs> That's right. So 24 nothing. Not, not the offensive uh, blaze of the U.S. in the last game, but very workmanlike. The conversion doesn't go over. And uh, I think you've got something to tell us. Right. Well, I just want to remind fans to help the Eagles pack Soldier Field once again. USA will take on Australia in the, horror, in the historic home of the Chicago Bears. And you won't want to miss this opportunity to see the Eagles prep for the World Cup against the Wallabies. On September 5th, visit Ticketmaster.com for tickets. So I think uh, we'll see a few changes at halftime. Just from a personnel preservation perspective for Canada. Mexico, uh, they're probably feeling okay about how things are going, despite having a goose egg on the board. 
they're not getting run off the park. They're showing some enterprise. Um, and I think they'll just look to, if they could score a try, I think they'd be happy. One more game for both of these teams because we do have a third, fourth playoff. And that'll be the winner of the Caribbean. That's the Caribbean correct. champions. Trophy and everything. So everyone's getting some hardware this weekend. I, I, I don't think we're getting anything, but the job is reward <laughs> enough. I think the water cooler with the bottles of water, that's the prize. Yeah. Well, we've see, we haven't seen Nathan Hirayama or Tyler Ardron for Canada yet. Hirayama has been starting most of the games, but he seems to be rested here. Taylor Paris is on the bench. He's been used more as an impact sub this weekend. Connor Braid, kind of the same situation. So th maybe we see a starting seven shaping up. Duke was really... I'm not sure if it's his first start, but we haven't seen him starting a lot until this, this game. Easing his way back into the program yeah. after taking a little break. So just taking a look out there. I don't see any change. Connor Trainer coming on. Uh, oh, he was already starting, so no. Canada think, staying with uh, they stood the past. team that they started with. Mexico. Oh, here he is on there, yeah. Mexico getting started now, and they will have the kickoff. And what they want to do is either exert some pressure, pin Canada deep, or win this restart on the chase. So Phil Mack taking a break in favor of Harry Amma. And I think that's a good call. You want Mac fresh as a daisy for the final. Nicely taken by Jones, lifted by Moonlight. Canada retains. It's a mall. They drive it. The ball is available. Mac. And there's Zaruba. He's looking for support. Hiriyama is kind of deep. He's working on his uh, fake passes. And but there's them Sean more. Duke right on his hip. And Sean Duke says, sure, I'll just accelerate into the corner. And that is another try for Canada. 29-0. And it is the, the support running, but it's also the strength in contact to be able to take a hit, stay on your feet, twist around so that ball is free in one hand. Very difficult to do. It is the way to make the offload out of. contact but it takes a lot of training to get that right so if you want to try and start doing that you can't just do that off the cuff and expect it to go well yeah they uh, benefit so much from those passes because uh, th that's the free man coming through that lane once you've taken that tackler out. out just makes life a little bit easier for the trailer Reach that arm around and then pop it back. Make sure it goes backwards. The kick is no good. We're still at 29-0, Canada. Duke just finishing strongly. Wasn't interested in getting that ball any closer to the post. No need. High, high kick. Moonlight goes up for it. He had it and lost it. Smacks the ball a little bit. It's like, I thought I got that one so yeah. knock on by Canada scrum down for Mexico and that's going to be put in by Diego Aragui so Mexico ringing the changes there oh, Max still on the field I don't, so and they took Hearn off instead Hearn that's right Put yeah. Hirayama yeah. in it at uh, first receiver. And there we started moving it. Mexico Whoa. has it. Big pass from <laughs> Vargas. Kind of went over someone. 
but they have it. They still have it. Nice power step. Well done in the, in the offload, and you see there's the danger of that offload if somebody takes, takes up that passing channel. But while it was intercepted by Canada, a little knock forward by Ardron and yeah, another Yeah, Ardron on forward. the field. And he had a little handling uh, error earlier today, too. He's getting frustrated with himself, but, I mean, there it wasn't a pass that he missed. It was a loose ball just trying to get to it. Mexico putting it in again, but you saw that while they, they got a few passes going and started moving somewhere, they ended up further back than last time. They've got to get some go forward. And it's here they try that with the short ball. Not Option not taken. And no attempt to release the tackle. Player there by Canada. Um, that's a... That's one of those things you got to be careful about. Make sure you don't get a card if you do that more than once. Harry Jones, guilty. And the kick to touch by Mexico. And, and Doug, you know, some of the teams trying to slow the game down, perhaps not so confident about breaking through the defensive line, so they opt for the line out. But uh, that has its own perils. Well, yeah, when you've got someone like a John Moonlight or Tyler Ardrun. They're ready to just go up and grab it and stolen just Which like that. exactly what he yeah. do does. Very nicely timed. Hirayama. And the wide pass out to Duke. Duke shakes it and bakes it. And, and just tries to offload to Hirayama, but it's lost forward. So for Mexico, Mexico has now. something going now. They and can't overthink this. They just need to get upfield. Uh, there's no sweeper. I would have kicked it over the top and chased it. Well, good work through traffic. Now they've got a little bit, at least even numbers. And still free, skating out of it. That is out of Gee. Good rucking by Mexico, keeping that ball their side. It's gone but loose. A loose ball and is gathered up by Connor Braid, who just pops it up to Ardron. Looked like Ardron was free and clear. But he sets it up again. Braid, Moonlight, His and third. that'll be the captain's third. They've all been pretty simple things. Uh, just crossing the line, a little chippy at the end there. Uh, I think there's a little something going on between Mexico and Moonlight. They, They've well, had a couple of incidents know, off the ball. Moonlight was hit as he was touching down, and uh, you, you would think that he's able to take something like that and, and not take umbrage, but uh, we, we also don't know what was. Because there had been an incident uh, towards yeah. the sideline earlier, and so I think that may be a hangover from that. And the kick off the post, 34-0, USA excuse me, Canada winning and uh, actually probably not thinking about the USA quite yet, but they have 90 seconds left before they can worry about playing the United States in the NACRA final. And that final is uh, 534, Eastern. 534 Eastern. We will have that for you. live and the kick goes out on the full so that'll be a free kick for Mexico I think this is their first foray into the Canadian half so One can minute. Mexico get something cooking here from midfield you know they're running like they can they run they're running into it with some confidence Stolen by Jones. Brilliantly done, but he, he flipped it back, and Mexico. He was able to steal that again. And out we go. A nice cut through. Well, that would be Morris. Oh, bouncy pass, kicked ahead by Aragui, trying to rescue something, and it goes to Mack. 
And almost the interception. And that he had white line fever there, thought he might be through, but uh, and just forgot one little part, the ball. Christian Morris trying to catch that one, thought he had it. Knocked forward, so a little bit uh, untidy by Canada. You know, they get the post, but then don't secure that, uh, uh, a pass. You know, almost intercepted, things like that. These are tiny, tiny little things that get multiplied. Yeah, it'll amplify against a team like the USA, so they're going to have a chat about that, no doubt. Kick pass. Pass from Mack. The hooter has sounded. They pass out to the wing. They kick into touch. The whistle is gone for full time, and Canada into the final of the men's. NACRA Sevens and a chance to play for a place in the 2016 Olympic Games, 34-0 over Mexico, and Doug Cross, uh, would they be happy with that? Uh, I think they probably would have wanted to see a few more points, but like I say, it looked like they were in conservation mode.